Hello, Internet. Here's a quick tip. Uh, in, in C Sharp, there's a way to, to make types a little bit easier to work with, especially when working with them in inside of methods. So what I have here is a, a really quick example that prints hello world uh, as a greeting. It takes in a greeting, prints that to the screen, and then prints out a list of integers. In this case, uh, 0 up to 3. doesn't print 3. Uh, so if we run that, we get .NET run blah, and it prints hello world 0, 1, 2. Uh, this isn't inclusive of the three, so whatever. Um, but the cool thing is, for inside of methods, for, for method level variables, you can actually remove this type and just use var. That's not how you spell var. Var. <laughs> and this works anywhere, as long as you have a type assignment on the right-hand side. What it's going to do is, at compile time, derive the type from that right-hand side. So since we have hello world as a string over here, you can see greeting gets assigned as a string. And even in Visual Studio Code or any other ID, it's still going to say this is a string. You don't lose your static type checking by using var. Uh, it's still there. It's just you don't have to, if I change this to now be, say, 10, I just change it to an int, and suddenly greeting is an int. Uh, and I didn't, ha I didn't have to change anything else. And this still compiles and runs, and I'm, I'm going to print 10 now. Uh, and that's a really handy way to do this, especially in for each loops when remembering the contained type of your lists can be a little bit clunky. Uh, that's pretty handy. One gotcha of this whole thing is if I type one, that's an int. But if I type 1.0, suddenly it's a double. And if I type 1.0f, suddenly it's a float. <laughs> So it can get a little bit tricky when you're working with numbers here if you're not careful. Uh, but especially as return types, so maybe not in this case, but if you are running, say, a thing like this, and you just want to grab the return type and iterate over that, it becomes a lot more useful. Uh, and so that's sort of a sort of a quick way to, to not have to worry about types so much, kind of get some of that niceness of not having to, having to worry about it while still having all the safety of a statically typed thing. Uh, and this is available since C Sharp 3, so you should should have access to this unless you're on a really old system. Uh, so, so that's that. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that's helpful and you can use it in your projects. But yeah, that's it for this video. So until next time, see you internet.